UAE Friday Sermon 4th of May, 2018. On the Blessing of Sight. First Sermon. All praise is due to Allah who created man in the best of stature and endowed upon them the favor of sight. The most exalted loves those who are grateful for his favors. I bear witness that there is no deity save Allah, having no associates. I also bear witness that our master Muhammad is the servant of Allah and his messenger. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, his family and all of his companions and those who follow them in righteousness till the day of judgment. As to what follows. I urge you, O servants of Allah, and myself to be aware that you are asked to obey him the most exalted, in line with his orders, say, who provides for you from the heaven and the earth? Or who controls hearing and sight and who brings the living out of the dead and brings the dead out of the living and who arranges, every, matter? They will say, Allah, so say, then will you not fear him? Eunice, 31. Dear Muslims. The bounties that Allah, the most exalted and sublime, has endowed upon mankind are innumerable. The Almighty says, and if you should count the favors of Allah, you could not enumerate them. Ibrahim, 34. Indeed, the favors that Allah the Almighty has bestowed upon us are numerous and he reminds us of them so that we may thank him and appreciate their significance. One of the greatest of such favors that Allah granted us is the blessing of sight. The Most Exalted says, Have we not made for him two eyes? al Balad, 8. That is to say, we made for him two eyes so that he can see with them. By means of one's eyes one can realize the greatness of Allah's arrangement of his universe and how he subjected the night and the day for his creation. The most exalted says, Allah alternates the night and the day. Indeed in that is a lesson for those who have vision. An or 44. By his grace, Allah made the day shining with his light, giving us sight to our daily life matters and allowing us to observe the splendor of the universe. Indeed, sight is such a generous favor to which Allah the Almighty has drawn our attention, for he says, Say, have you considered, if Allah should make for you the night continuous until the day of resurrection, what deity other than Allah could bring you light? Then will you not hear? al 71. Undoubtedly, one should be grateful to Allah the Almighty for the invaluable favor of sight. The exalted is he says, and Allah has extracted you from the wombs of your mothers not knowing a thing, and he made for you hearing and vision and intellect that perhaps you would be grateful. And now, 78. O servants of Allah. The ways of showing thankfulness to Allah for the favor of vision are many. One way to express gratefulness is by using our sight in the righteous manner that Allah has ordered us to follow in line with his orders, say, observe what is in the heavens and earth. Eunice, 101. This means, perceived the signs that reflect Allah's greatness, the marvelousness of his creation and perfection of his make. The most exalted says, then do they not look at the camels, how they are created? al Garshia, 17. In this sense, the messenger of Allah has set excellent pattern for us to follow. Anything that the Prophet boss or would motivate him to contemplate on the competence of Allah the Almighty. So, how did the Messenger of Allah use the favor of eyesight? He would start his day with the remembrance of Allah the Almighty. As such, when the day breaks he would say, He who listens has heard that we praise Allah for the blessings and favors he bestows upon us. Our Lord, be with us and bestow your favor upon us. This means, who listens has heard, or the witness has witnessed our praise of Allah due to his blessings and favor upon us. Our Lord, protect us and guard us and bless us with your numerous bounties. Moreover, part of the messenger of Allah's tradition is that he would thank Allah the most exalted throughout his day and in all circumstances. Thus, when he saw something he liked, he would say, praise is due to Allah by whose grace good deeds are completed. And if he saw something that he disliked, he would say, praise is due to Allah in all circumstances. You are advised, therefore, to thank Allah the Almighty whenever you see a favor that he has endowed upon you and upon seeing a person who is afflicted too.
This is part of the guidance of the messenger of Allah as he said, whoever sees an afflicted person then says, all praise is due to Allah who saved me from that which he has afflicted you with, and blessed me greatly over many of those whom he has created. He shall not be struck by that affliction. What is more, when we see the effect of one of the bounties that Allah the Almighty has given to us or to others, we are recommended to supplicate to our Lord to bless such bounty. This was also advocated by the Prophet as he said, If any of you sees something that he likes in his brother, himself or his wealth, he should bless it. In another narration, he said, he should pray for it to be blessed. In return, an angel will respond to one's supplication and pray for him with similar one. More to the point, when a Muslim sees a good thing, they are recommended to invoke Allah the Almighty to bestow his blessings upon it. This was also part of the guidance of the Prophet for when people saw the first fruits of the season, they used to bring them to the Messenger of Allah. Upon seeing them, the Prophet would take them and say, O oh Allah! Bless us in our fruits. One other example of the quality of gratefulness to Allah's favors that was part of the Prophet's character is that whatever he saw, he used to ask his Lord to grant him the best of the thing that he has seen and seek his refuge from its evil aspect. For instance, when the Prophet saw a cloud approaching from any horizon, he would say, O oh Allah! We seek refuge with you from the evil of that with which it is sent. Then if Allah dispelled it and it did not rain, he would praise Allah for that. And if it rained he would say, O oh Allah, a beneficial rain. That is to say, O oh Allah, please make it a healthy beneficial rain. For another, when the Prophet saw the crescent moon, he would say, O oh Allah, bring it over us with blessing in faith, and security and Islam. My Lord and your Lord is Allah. This way, the Messenger of Allah used the favor of sight that Allah has bestowed upon him in performing acts of obedience to him. O servants of Allah! Another aspect of expressing thankfulness to Allah the Almighty for the blessing of vision is by lowering one's gazes, on seeing what is unlawful to look at, in line with the orders of the most exalted, tell the believing men to reduce, some, of their vision. And nor or, 30. A scholarly interpretation of this AI suggested, whoever protected his sight, Allah will enlighten his insight. The reason is that by lowering one's gazes, the believer will be mindful of Allah the most exalted and understand that the Almighty's vision is faster to him than his to others, and that he is accountable for all his senses and how he uses them. The most exalted says, indeed, the hearing, the sight and the heart, about all those, one, will be questioned. al 36. On another level, one of the acts of obedience that is conducive to take away the sins associated with the eyes is washing the face in the course of ablution. On this account, the Prophet said, when a Muslim, or believer, performs you do, ablution, washing his face, every evil that he looked at with his eyes leaves with the water, on with the last drop of water. Here, what is meant with leaves with the water is that it will be forgiven. So, you are urged, O worshippers, to keep such a great blessing pure and make your vision a gateway to attain the satisfaction of Allah and be admitted to his paradise. There is no doubt the more valuable the bounty is, the greater the reward for being deprived from it will be. Thus, those who are deprived from the favor of sight will, by Allah's grace, be compensated generously on the day of judgment. This was accentuated by the Prophet as he said, Allah said, if I deprive my servant of his two beloved things, that is his eyes, and he remains patient, I will let him enter paradise in compensation for them. Bearing this in mind, let us pray to Allah to continue blessing us with the favor of sight and make us to his bounties grateful to his orders obedient and to the guidance of his messenger followers. May Allah guide us all to obey him and obey his messenger Muhammad and obey those he has commanded us to obey in line with his orders, O you who have believed. Obey Allah and obey the messenger and those in authority among you. An Nisa, 59. May Allah direct us all to the blessings of the glorious Quran and the Sunna of his messenger. I say this and ask Allah for forgiveness for me and you, 
so invoke him for forgiveness, for he is the most forgiving, the most merciful. Second Sermon. All praise is due to Allah as befitting to his sublime countenance and supreme status. I bear witness that there is no deity save Allah, having no associates. I also bear witness that our master Muhammad is the servant of Allah and his messenger. He was sent with the truth, guidance and clear proofs. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon our master Muhammad, his pure family, companions, and all those who follow them in righteousness till the day of judgment. I urge you, O servants of Allah, and myself to be aware that you are asked to obey him, the most exalted and sublime. O worshippers! Please know that part of being grateful to Allah the Almighty for endowing upon us the favor of vision is to use it in all that which may contribute to the nation's stability, tranquility and welfare. Indeed, so doing is one of the greatest acts that are conducive to draw the believer nearer to their Lord and amongst the best acts in his sight. The Messenger of Allah said in this regard, There are two eyes that shall not be touched by the fire, an eye that wept from the fear of Allah, and an eye that spent the night standing on guard in the cause of Allah. In this hadith, the Prophet has given good tidings to those who safeguard and protect their nation that they will, by Allah's grace, attain paradise and be protected from the torment of the hellfire. That is said, please bear in mind that you are instructed to invoke peace and blessings on the Prophet. Allah, the most sublime, says, indeed, Allah confers blessing upon the Prophet and his angels, ask him to do so. O you who have believed, ask, Allah to confer, blessing upon him and ask, Allah to grant him, peace. Allah Zab, 56. On the same matter, the Prophet said, For everyone who invokes a blessing on me will receive ten blessings from Allah. O Allah, please confer your blessings and grant peace upon our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him his family and all of the companions. May Allah be pleased with the rightly guided caliphs, Abu Bakr, Amar, Uthman, and Ali, and all of the noble companions. O Lord, we beseech you to bless all of their Muslim countries and the whole world with stability and peace. May Allah grant success and continued health and care to the UAE President Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayd al Nayyan. May Allah also ensure success to his Vice President, trustworthy Crown Prince and his brothers, their highnesses the rulers of the Emirates. O oh Allah, please forgive all of the Muslims, men and women, living and dead. May Allah have mercy on Sheikh Zayd, Sheikh Maktoum and the late UAE Sheikhs. O oh Lord, forgive and show mercy on them and bless them with your kindness and satisfaction. O oh Lord, Forgive and show mercy on our parents, relatives and whoever has done a favor to us. We pray to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, to continue blessing the UAE with stability and welfare and bless its provisions. O oh Allah, please continue blessing the UAE with safety and security. O oh Allah, we seek your favor to send us wealthy rain and make us not amongst those who are despondent. O oh Allah, relieve us. O oh Allah, relieve us. O oh Allah, relieve us. O oh Allah, give us from the blessings of the sky and grow for us from the blessings of the earth. Remember Allah and he will remember you. Be grateful of his benevolence and he will increase his blessings to you. Please stand